welcome friends to keep walking keep smiling today i'm going to present about a company named deepak nitrate limited 2020 review it's a group a company listed in bombay stock exchange in top 500 companies uh, industry type for this company is commodity in chemicals Uh, Deepak Nitrate is basically a five decade old company. They deals into various uh, chemical supplies. <clears throat> the facts and figures about the company. My market capitalization is around 8,086 crores as of in March 2020. Its earning per share is of around 39.89 which is uh, very good compared to peers group and price to earning ratio is 14.86 almost part to the value of the uh, industry the beta that is the risk factor that is considered in terms of beta is 1.14 1.14 is considered as kind of anything above is one is a, a risk uh, sales like a risky commodity or risky a uh, stock based on its operations and based on its industry type investment the risk factor involved in uh, particular stock can be more so uh, in, uh, investors should compare about the other uh, peer, peer groups uh, beta uh, factor and then they should decide whether to go into such a um, company or not because the beta factor for different companies uh, differ so sorry for different seg segments company segment differs and we need to go according to uh, industry segments and uh, standards uh, the company has paid regular dividends and bonus in past sale was 2229 crores in uh, 2020 it was up by 24.45% other income also grew by uh, was 7 crore uh, up by 250% which is a very good sign EBIT was 7 to 6 up by almost 184% net profit was 544 crores up by 294 means that uh, last year was a very good year for the nitrate uh, re re reserve and surplus for company grew up to 42.13 percent again a good sign they have maintained their earning and net profit current liability was 485 in 2020 compared to 600 that means they have uh, reduced their short-term liabilities uh, compared to last year book value has increased by 29 percent 29.06 percent uh, again a good sign the, that means uh, the asset value have uh, increased book value is nothing but something that a share a share a shareholder can expect uh, in the worst to worst situation uh, from from a, from a particular stock operating margin was up by 18.33% uh, return on asset increased by 19.03 means uh, Company management is using its resources, its assets quite efficiently to generate revenue for shareholder. Uh, 10 year price chart, the average high for 10 years was 346 and average low was 145. In 2014 company declared a bonus as well as they split the stock. So that's why we can see a sharp fall in uh, two, uh, from 2014 to 2015. Then there is again a slight and upward trend towards uh, uh, till current date. Uh, promoter have increased their stake by, stake by 0.804%. Sorry, 0.84%. Uh, no pl uh, pledging of shares are, are, are done so far, right, which is very good foreign investors and uh, foreign institute have increased their stake by 0.68 percent in the company total domestic investors have decreased their stake by 0.7 i guess uh, the 
right now the value for the share company share price is quite high or trading at the high higher levels compared to its average uh, price that's why i guess i guess most of the uh, domestic investors have moved out move out of the company to have uh, some better options insurance companies have increased their stake by 0.46% insurance company whenever they uh, increase the stake in a company it's a very good sign as insurance company requires they need to keep a uh, wallet their wallet very strong and hefty as they need to pay for the uh, premium insurance and coverage for the various uh, factors mutual fund increased their stake by 0.3% again a good sign financial institutes and bank bank have decreased their stake by 0.26% again i guess due to uh, what we say due to the encashing of encashment requirement for the uh, banks and other institute the dll that is uh, direct uh, domestic uh, investors have decreased their stake by 1.23% uh, okay according to me uh, one should have a watch on this company and right now it's trading above i guess 600 uh, i guess i should i mean we should wait for the levels to cool down some corrections to come in and we need to accumulate and one can go for the accumulation of the stock buying of the stock at even at the current levels and at I mean some parts and then as there we see some correction we can buy more uh, for the long term uh, purpose it's a good stock and good valuable uh, value for money uh, stock uh, thank you for watching my video uh, subscribe to the channel for more information related to investments and stocks thank you